Creating your own brushes, image brushes particularly I'm talking about here, in Affinity is relatively easy and you can uh, spread them between the apps um, by exporting them into little brush sets. Now I can show you how to do this. What we've got here is um, the PDF file, no not PDF sorry, PSD file that came with comic elements. Um, it's a it's a it's a comics um, a comics kit that has all sorts of things in it: backgrounds, elements, um, templates, and shapes. Now those shapes are very interesting, and what I wanted was to put them into brushes. And I've showed you how to do that previously with the trees. What you, what you simply do is go to the elements, and now say I want the first one, templates. Make sure it's highlighted as template 1, and then you go up there, you export Comic Elements by PSD PNG. Comic Elements by PSD Dude. Um, it's an Envato Elements thing, but we don't want the whole document. You only want the selection without the background. Important. And you click on OK and it will ask you where you want to put it. Well, I don't want to mess up those because I've already done most of them. I'll just put it into AF Photo. It may already be there. No, it wasn't. And that's it. However, that little brush is now in there. I'll close that because I can then go to there and there's my cartoon sounds text. Boom, crash, wow, poof, ouch, all of those. And I've already created the brush sets by tapping that one there. Add a category, then rename it to cartoon sounds. Not importing brushes, but creating a new image brush. And you go and look for your image that you've saved previously, exported, and by tapping on one of them, it will import it and you will then have it as a brush. Now, I'm pretty sure I showed you how to do that with the trees. Um, once you do it a few times, you'll lose track of your the things you're editing occasionally. But there they are. Now, what we've got is cartoon sounds text. And this is the boom, crash, wow, poo thing. Because they're not actually sounds. Now, what I want to do is export that brush set and I want to put it into where do I want to put it let's put it into downloads because other things will use it Frank and Toon advanced illustration one two and three I've had three attempts at saving those cartoon sounds text let's save that Just remove that for a moment. Now I'll go down here. And you can see I've got two copies of it. That one there, it's AF brushes and AF brushes. You can see that. I previously saved one. Now that brush set is sitting in the downloads folder. Let me see if I can find okay. it. I found this on the web for sitting in the downloads folder. <laughs> There's Siri talking to me in the background. Um, I do wonder about Siri. Okay, downloads, documents, OneDrive, favourites, downloads. Cartoon sounds, text, AF brushes. Pebble Beach brushes, you can see I've got a few in there. Now I can load those brushes into, um, into either designer or photo I can send them to my desktop version and they're very handy let's see what do they do well there's some there's some examples select brushes painting two 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 comic speech bubbles there's all the speech bubbles we'll do that one Make it big enough to see. You can see the circle going up and down there on the um, on the artboard. It's on brushes. Let's see if giving it a colour makes any difference. Colour wheel. Oh, 
Oops, what have I done wrong? Speech bubble. Oh, of course. I'm in a layer, silly boy. Pixel layer. And there it is there. There's another one, there's another one, there's another one. Select a different brush. Comic Speech Bubble 1. And there it is there. Now I can make that as big as I like. And put it there. I can actually move it, that whole thing over there. You see it's all on a layer. There's the layer there. Be careful of that because I just forgot that. I can delete that layer because we don't want that. The original background is there. No, I don't want that. Don't want that. Crash. There we go. Background. That one there, gone. That one there, gone. And that one there, gone. That's all there is to it. Creating your own brushes. Comic speech, comic elements. There's a lightning flash. Let's select that layer, turn it on. Still selected. And there's a flash there. Now, of course, if you paint with it, you're going to get lots of flashes. Now, why is it there? Because it's imported directly as the same color in the as, as same color as it is in the original now if i want to bring a colored one in i bring in a new intensity brush and let's go speech bubble 2 don't set anything select it and there it is there. See, it's a different colour, Speech Bubble 2. Now there it's selected. And there's the colour because it's red. So if you want those little things to be the right colour, or the colour you want, don't bring them in as images, they're, otherwise they're black and white, which is great for comics, and you can colour them later. If you want them coloured to start with, then create them when you create the brushes you create a new intensity brush a new image brush gives you the exact image a new intensity brush gives you an image that you can change the color of very important to remember and of course the whole point of this exercise is to be able to export the brush set that you have open you won't export them all it'll export the set of brushes you have open and you can see that what i have here is comic elements comic speech bubbles and cartoon sounds so maybe i should have renamed that to comic cartoon sounds or rename the other ones Rename that from Cartoon Sounds to Comic Sounds. Okay, now there it is. Brushes, Comic Sounds, Comic Elements and Comic Speech. Because they're all related. Very easy. Enjoy. Enjoy.